As the United States pursues a revised nuclear deal with Iran, the Islamic Republic is stepping up attacks on Americans in the Middle East and Iranians right here in the USA. One week ago, Iranian-backed militants fired missiles on a U.S. airbase in western Iraq and two Katusha rockets near the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad's Green Zone. Those actions came after U.S. airstrikes took out Iranian-backed militia bases in Iraq and Syria. It's just the latest in the low-intensity, indirect war between the United States and Iran. Politicians in Europe and in Washington insist the Ayatollah's aggressive actions would only subside if the U.S. would lift sanctions against Iran and re-enter the nuclear deal. But guess what? The attacks won't stop. Iran's determined to dominate the Middle East by spreading violence and terror to the region and to anyone who opposes the regime. Outgoing Iranian President Hassan Rouhani now says his country is capable of enriching uranium to 90 percent. That's weapons grade. Whatever happened to the regime's commitment to limit enrichment efforts to peaceful nuclear powered purposes? I never believed that promise, did you? Another Iranian attempt to launch a satellite into space recently failed. One day, soon, they won't fail. Then what? Folks, if they succeed at sending a satellite into space, it won't be long before they can actually launch a nuclear missile against Israel or the United States. Meanwhile, an Iranian activist living in New York, journalist Masi Alinejad, says the FBI claims Iranian agents are plotting to kidnap her. I have an amazing garden, beautiful sunflowers, and the FBI told me that they got photos of you in your garden, the intelligence service. When I'm saying intelligence service, I mean the moderate president, the one that Biden's administration are going to have a deal with, you know. And that actually breaks my heart. Folks, we cannot allow the Islamic Republic to harm Iranians on U.S. soil. And we cannot allow them to develop nuclear weapons. The Ayatollah and his cronies will lie to Western diplomats and politicians, tell them whatever they want to hear. In the meantime, they'll continue to kill Americans, Iranians, and anyone else who tries to stop them. Sanctions or no sanctions, new nuclear deal or not, they will proceed with plans to force their brand of Islam on the Middle East and the world. Time is running out, and we must act before it's too late.